let me look at this thing. Oh, wow. holy shit. This is a 12-minute video? Oh, that's good. Dude, I'm so excited for this game, man. I am so fucking excited for this game. Everything about the sea was captured in a game using uh, real-time work in progress does not represent the final look of the game. Yeah, of course. I've seen you in many strange dreams. This is Unreal 5. This is a journey as a way out. Escape from what you deem unimportant. Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seen all three of the it's the same old vanity. Dude, this reminds me so much of like Sekiro. Dude, this is a game. These graphics are unreal. Asia equals Sekiro? More like Headless equals Sekiro. Stop it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so this is the actual gameplay. I really hope this game is good, man. I really, really do. Damn! Just got yeeted right off the cliff! So they're all gonna come alive, I'm assuming? Is that right? Dude, this is so good, man. Holy shit. I remember whenever I first saw this game, I was so excited about it. The fuck? Oh shit. Dude, look at him fall into the snow. This is so good. Oh my god. Dude, how is this even... Bro, to think that I, I grew up playing Super Mario World and now we're looking at this. It's fucking insane, man. It's pre-rendered? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure they said it's not pre-rendered. I'll be right back. I need to take a piss, guys. I'll be right back. All right, what is this, dude? This is crazy. Like, what I think is so insane about this is the, uh, like, the level of detail. Like, the level of detail with this is unreal. Like, look at his shirt, man. It's like individual pieces of snow on his shirt. Okay. Okay. This is like a bo damn, y'all shit's fast. Wow. Oh shit! So you can dodge out of stuff too. What the fuck? Rip computer? Yeah, really. Reminds me of the attack that Sir Out or not uh, King fucking Outline does. What did a wind attack? Damn, dude. Oh, he's just doming him. How did I hit him? I like how it shows the blood splatter, so it shows you exactly where you got hit. What the fuck? 
It's like a fire circle, and he can- Oh, it's like an Estus Flask, he can heal himself. Holy shit. Dude, this looks really, really, really good. I cannot wait to play this fucking game, man. It's a nice try. This guy, listen. If it was me, I would have killed him already, alright, guys? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Holy shit. Look at this. Damn. Journalist gameplay? He's doing alright, you know, it is what it is. Maybe his first time playing the game. Maybe he's getting hit on purpose. Game journalist asking for story difficulty already. Dude, some of the like, is this a bird with a person's head? That's exactly what it is. Oh my god. Some of this stuff, like, there's something about this that, like, just really reminds me a lot of, like, the kind of From Software stuff that they do. Like, just, like, the, the NPCs that are just, like, so, like, uh, just, like, crazy and, like, weird. And it just, there's something about it that just is really the exact, so, like, it gives me that same vibe with this. It's Ultima Bold? Yeah, exactly. Chinese mythology? I guess so. This is so cool. What the fuck? Holy shit! Are you kidding me? Dude, this- this is fucking awesome! Wow! He's just- dude, he just domes them, man. That's so fucking funny. This is insane. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I can't- when is this gonna come out, man? This is crazy, the ice. Yeah, look at ev dude, everything about this is fucking insane. 2023. That uh, makes sense. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. It takes quite a while. People said this is like Goku versus Shin Long, or whatever. You realize that's. There's a reason for that, right? Goku is based off of the story of Wukong. Yeah, th there's. Th that's actually why. So that would make a lot of sense. That's a joke? No, I think a lot of people don't know that. Holy shit, man. And the hitboxes look like a lot like uh, Dark Souls in a way. Where like if you swing under him, it still won't hit him. So if you're fighting like Medea or something like that, you have to do like overhead attacks. It's like super annoying. Collision box is amazing. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Oh my god.
What the fuck? Now what? I remember the Yulan Hui. The Master said, "The suffering of the Master is due to the lack of discipline." If I say, This is so cool, man. This is so fucking badass. These bosses are insane, man. Oh my god. I'm s oh, fuck. Dude, these bosses are crazy, man. I, dude, I really hope this game is good, man. Please be good. Please be good. Finding something new? Yeah, I know. God, like it. This is so fucking good, man. Like the scale and the scope of this is fucking insane. God damn, man. Oh my god, I cannot wait for this to come out, man. I cannot wait for this shit to come out. This is crazy good. Wow. I think probably, like, just like him fighting the dragon, it's just like, it's so fucking unreal, man. Open world. I, I honestly, like, I'm so glad to see, I, I'm so glad to see a game like this come out because here's the reason. Is that uh, Epic Games? Well, of course it's Epic Games. Like, obviously, a big reason why this game is coming out, and, and there have been games like this before, a big reason is because this game like, has the budget to really showcase what Unreal 5 can do. And, and that's the truth, right? It, it definitely does. Like, it is fucking insane, man. Of course it's Epic Games. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And, like, what I think is so good about this is that, you know, you always hear about, like, the traditional, like, you know, Greek mythology. You hear about, uh, you know, just, like, other types of mythology. But, like, you never really see in popular culture types of like Chinese mythology or like Indian mythology a whole lot at all so to have this kind of a story that's been you know timeless and like for years and years and years like how long has the Wukong uh, been around like it's been around for like what a thousand years or something like that I'm not even really sure but like yeah it's been it's been along for a around for a really really long time and uh yeah 2,000 years yeah exactly Goku's Wukong I know that but like just in general I feel like it's not as like if you were to, I mean, like, listen, all I'm saying is if you were to ask a thousand people who Zeus is and a thousand people who Wukong is, I feel like it's very obvious which one's going to get more answers. So that's what I'm really trying to say is that, like, it's really cool for me to see this because I've never experienced this before. I've never seen this, uh, this type of story before. 
And that's what I think is just so fucking badass, man. It is insane. Depends on the region. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, let's see here. Um, games are done in Asian mythology. Doesn't make it to Western market. I think that's probably true. And that's why I'm so excited about this one, too. Bro, more people live in China? Uh... Yeah, they do. But however, you know, like, I don't think that, like, you know, Greek mythology didn't happen in America. You know what I mean? Uh, it didn't. But, like, it, people still feel that way about it. Right? And they still know a lot about it. All, all I'm saying is, like, there doesn't have, like, the same cultural significance here than it does uh, over there. Right? And that's why I'm so excited to see a game like this that's actually coming to America. Because it gives people here the chance to really experience that. Y you know what I mean? Like, that's... That's what I think is so cool because we want to see this like I, I want to see this at least I think it's fucking awesome Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool show the bear part again. Yeah, like whenever they were showcasing the bosses I think this is so cool Like look at some of these bosses Like even already. I mean this has got like what I mean I'm sure like a lot of these are probably like many bosses or like uh, You know like not full bosses or whatever, but like these are really really cool it's a furry mythology? No, it's not a furry mythology. Uh, it's only the people in the mythology have fur. That's different, okay? Yeah, dude, the, uh... The giant fucking bear was crazy. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Wait a second. Look at that, man. Just, like, everything about this is fucking cool. Like, the scenery on it... And just, like, the scale of it is so fucking cool, man. Like, this is why people, like, this is what people, at least, like, for me, right? This is what I play games to do, man. Like, you go up against a giant fucking bear like this. It just looks cool. Like, that's all coming. It just, it looks fucking cool, man. I am so excited for this game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am so fucking excited about this game. I haven't seen this much excitement for a game in a long time, and I think the reason why a lot of people are so excited about this one, or at least it is for me, the reason why I'm so excited about it is the fact that it's not a, it's not like some, oh, well, they're making a new, uh, a new God of War. Oh, they're making a new, uh, you know, X or Y thing. They're actually, this is a new fucking thing. This is a new IP from something that's completely fucking unknown for, for like, at least, like, American audiences, right? It's from a ground up. This is a brand new fucking IP. And I think so many people for so long, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm wrong about this, but, like, I am so tired of seeing the same old games come out over and over and over again. Like, I want to see the new content. I want to see the new games and the new shit like that, man. Like, I, I want to have, like, that new adventure where, like, you go into it and it's all new. Like, Elden Ring? Yeah, Elden Ring. I, I think that's the next one that we'll have, right? But, like, even Elden Ring is, like, kind of to some degree, like, a known entity. Because, like, we know from software. I think what's so exciting about a game like this is that this is coming completely out of nowhere. And it already, like, people know, obviously, a story wouldn't be around for 2,000 years if it wasn't a really good story, right? So, you know the story is going to be good. The gameplay looks fucking insane. The graphics are literally the best in the world right now. Like, it ever... It was 2000, oh, I thought people said it was 2,000 years. Well, whatever. It's been around for hundreds of years. And it's like, if they... You know, I've, listen, the Bible's been around for 2,000 years. Are you really going to tell me that they couldn't make a badass fucking game out of Revelations? They could absolutely do that. Like, they could 100% do that. They could... They make a, a unreal game, okay? Yeah, longer than that. Yeah, it would be fucking ridiculous. So yeah, I'm not uh I, I'm not I, I'm not buying into that at all. I think that yeah, the Bible would also be a really cool story. So yeah, they've got a great story. The graphics are fucking incredible. The gameplay looks good. Everything about this game looks promising. I really, really, really hope this game is gonna be good. Like the only thing that makes me worried, right, is the last game that I saw that looked really, really good was Godfall. And Godfall was just, uh, it was God fail. It was, it was bad. It was a bad game. Uh, I, I didn't really like the game that much. I thought it just could have been way better. And it's like, that's the first thing that I think of. Like, oh my god, please don't let it be like Godfall. But turns out that I don't think that's gonna happen with this game. Uh, I'm really excited about it, and I'm definitely excited to, uh, to see it, okay? Yeah, what's Godfall? Yeah, exactly. Uh, either way, game looks fucking insane. Uh, I love it. And obviously, like, um... 
just just a second let me see if i can find the original video and you guys can probably see it one year ago yeah this is it this is the one year ago trailer so like some of these parts here like we've already seen a lot of this but like if you look it already looks way fucking better than it did last year like in my opinion like the fidelity is way higher and everything like that yeah i think this is like the coolest part of it right here and like i showed this last year too gameplay looks boring i think that's probably just because you're playing it on like a very easy mode of the game they're probably just showcasing the game like i think the scale of it is what's so badass like that right there fighting all of those guys at the same time look at that dude it's pretty fucking cool man that is pretty fucking cool I am so excited to see this Sekiro 2. I think it'll play a lot like Sekiro. Now, Kyle play kind of like Sekiro, but not obviously the exact same. Uh, I mean, of course, like, you know, FromSoft has like its own little thing. Flying Nimbus? Yeah, exactly. It it's really, really fucking cool.